as a langue portée at a place like Yale would be to, in a way, give an example to students of what it's like to live with music on an ongoing basis, to engage with it in a really serious way in a set group, to get involved with their process of discovery, and our concerts, I hope, will give people things to think about. We're named after Antonia Brentano, who used to be a patron of Beethoven's. I think maybe the most important thing that we bring to Yale is the uncompromising commitment to just serving the music. Hopefully, when we play, people really feel like we've touched on something that they resonate with. I think the biggest thing is just to share the joy of what we do, of what string quartets are, what chamber music can be. This idea of joining of forces and combining people to make one unified whole is a powerful idea. I mean, we've certainly been made aware of the extended resources of the campus around us and the incredible museums, for example, and the Great Instrument Collection, the digital slash electronic resources that are available at YSM, and we look forward to taking advantage of all that, and we'll just enjoy jumping into the coachings and splashing around and enjoying what promises to be a kind of an elevated forum for throwing out our ideas and working with these talented young musicians. The Brentano Quartet is kind of like our hero quartet. So we really admire what they do and personally we really connect to them and they're just incredible, both musicians and people. I think that was our main reason for applying. <laughs> What I think we like about Brentano is that you can tell they're like really curious and interesting people in the way they play, in the way they program, in the way they approach music that appeals to our sensibility as musicians, maybe more so than other programs we could have looked at. There's something about the way they work with us that really sticks. Most of my coachings have a lot to do with constantly asking questions, making sure that the whole process of trying to figure out what's in this score is a series of questions. We know that the level of playing here is extraordinary, that the students are extraordinarily bright and eager. In a way, it's an artificial division between faculty and students because we're all in the same profession. We're all doing the same thing. We've just been doing it a little longer. And we certainly learn as much teaching as anyone ever learns from us. I'd like people to see that playing chamber music is something that you have to sacrifice for, but it's totally worth sacrificing for. It brings out the best in people, I think. You know, it's a metaphor for life and people working together, and there's so much to learn from it, and it's been such a joy to be part of it. I hope that that's what we can share.